We're going to do an experiment today. And the experiment is going to be to find, some balls say Allen ate Seelig on it. These were the balls that were used back when uh, Commissioner Seelig was the commissioner about three years ago and before. What, what is this one? That one I got at spring training. That's actually a weird one. It's the only one I have like it. It's a, it's a squishy ball that I found. These are all the balls from this year. They're all marked with the stadium date, who hit it, what ball it was. And I also put where it appears in the video. I'm selling all these ones on eBay, so I have them all over the place. I gotta get a little more organized here. So I'm gonna pick out a Manfred ball, and I'm gonna also pick out a Seelig ball. I can go as far back as, I started collecting these baseballs in 2006, and I used to write the numbers on them, like this is number 1355. That's ball number 1990 of my collection, and I stopped numbering after 2000, and then, more recently, I've started going with the baggies and uh, writing all that on it. So we're going to get two balls and we're going to do an experiment. All right, I found my Seelig ball that I'm going to use. And I also have a Manfred ball that I'm going to use. Let me show that one. So, Rob Manfred, these balls have been in play for the last two seasons. And we're going to go do our science experiment. Ready to go help? Yeah! Let's go. All right, we are gonna go to our swimming pool here and we're going to do an experiment. There has been a lot of speculation recently, especially this season with a record number of home runs hit that the ball is juiced. The Robert Manfred baseballs that are in play now are supposedly harder and travel farther and is leading to more home runs. So as a collector of baseball, I have over 6,000 of these baseballs at my disposal. So I picked out a Manfred baseball from this season and I also went back into my storage um, room and I picked out an Allen H. Seelig or Bud Seelig baseball from years ago. We're going to see which one floats longer. Now the rationale is some people believe that the ball used this year is wound tighter than the balls in the past. If they're wound tighter, they're harder and they travel farther. So if they are wound tighter, my hypothesis is that the ball will not sink quite as fast. The ball that's wound looser will allow more water to permeate into the threads and such and sink the ball faster. So the experiment is which ball will stay afloat longer. If the ball is indeed juiced, it should float longer. Ready to try this out? I'm going to laugh here. I don't want to do it. You don't want to do it? Okay. I'm, we have... Okay, you do it with my mom. Yeah. All right. We have a swimming pool in our backyard. It goes down to nine feet here. So we are going to put the balls in at the same time and then see which one floats longer, okay? You want to film me doing this? The ceiling ball is this ball on the left. Uh -huh. The Manfred ball is on the right. So, uh -huh. ceiling on the left, Manfred on the right. Ready? I'm going to throw him in the pool. Uh -huh. Same time. Ceiling on the left, Manfred on the right. See him in the picture? Uh -huh. Here we go. Ceiling's on the left, Manfred's on the right. All right, they're floating. Ceiling's. All right, we got ceiling over there, Manfred right there. The Manfred. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Manfred is going towards the skimmer. It's going to get sucked in. Oh, no. Looks like it's going to hang a left here. It's hanging a left, so. The ceiling is floating off towards the... Uh, yeah, towards the kid zone. And, and also the... I'm going to have to push this one this way. Don't go in the skimmer. <laughs> Yeah, that one started going to sw into the skimmer, so I had to throw it down that way. Isn't that funny? Can you still see it? Okay. Uh -huh. Whoa, the Manfred ball is sinking faster. The Manfred ball is going down a little bit faster here. This is the Manfred. The ceiling is still up. We're losing you. We're losing the Manfred. We're losing Manfred. 
It's going down. How are we going to get it? Well, it's a heated pool, so you can jump in. And rest in peace, Rob Manford Baseball is at the bottom of the pool, so it sank faster. The Sea League ball is still floating pretty good. And look. Bubbles are coming. I want to see. Why is that ball still floating so well? I am really confused now. Why? I thought for sure that the Manfred ball would float much faster, or much, not faster, but much longer than the Sea League ball. The Sea League ball is just still rolling along over there. Look, it's moving. Yeah, it's rolling down into the nine foot depths there. Think you can go get it? No, you get it. Our Sea League ball is still going and our Manfred ball is slowly leaving us. I'm gonna have to get in and get these balls out. We gotta do a little pool maintenance today anyway. I gotta vacuum the pool. That's always fun. Took me a little while to figure it out, but. This is like an all time record for a baseball floating. Yeah, I know. I've had to dive down and get them before though. Not baseballs, but golf balls. Usually when these balls hit the river at PNC Park, they sink pretty quickly. Like I'm talking about, oh, I don't know, like a minute to two minutes tops. And this Sea League ball, it's pretty amazing. It's not taking in much water at all. See, what happens is, yeah, a little whirlpool. The water seeps in through the seams and inside the baseball, there's thread. So the thread gets wet, and therefore the ball gets heavier. And once the ball gets saturated enough, it sinks to the very bottom. Is this one winning? Well, that, it already won. It won by a mile. Like, I could throw every single Rob Manfred baseball that I have into the pool, and that ball would still win because it's been going for this video clip right now, we're, we're past five minutes since we hit record. We probably threw the ball in after about a minute of talking. So it's been, it's been afloat for about four minutes right now. It's just still floating away. I can't even get that because it's in the kids zone. You can get that. We'll have to go see what the... Uh... Here, I'll tell you how warm it is. Let me know if it starts to sink so I can get some footage of it sinking. Keep an eye on it. You watching it? Yeah. Still watching it? Is it still floating? Yeah, it's still floating. We're at 75 degrees, the water is. It's not too bad since it's been down in the 30s the last two nights. That buzzing you hear in the background is the heater pumping out heat into the pool. We're gonna have to close this pool down probably pretty soon. I don't know if that ball is ever going to sink. Oh, well, it, I'm just sitting on the water slide. Manfred ball is still just chilling down there at the bottom. See, I don't know if the uh, fact that the that the Manfred ball started to get pushed into the skimmer made it take more water on or not the skimmer if you don't know if you don't have a pool or you're not familiar with it, you've probably seen these things before they're the uh, basically these little doorways in the pool they suck water into them and there's a little grate in it that collects all the, the debris in the pool Livy I wish I knew this is a world record we're seeing a world record baseball for floating. I've, I've seen so many baseballs going to the river and if you're a ball hawk at a stadium that has a water feature like Kauffman Stadium where the Kansas City Royals play, 
Um, that's a that's a, a good one for this because a lot of balls go into, into the uh, fountains out there or Chase Field, um, Tropicana Field has a raised tank. And balls that go in there, they sink. And they sink pretty fast. It's usually one to two minutes. And this ball here is just, it's starting to take water on pretty good. Now see, it's finally reached its saturation point and it's starting to sink. It's gonna go any minute now. You can see it's, the water levels rising. It's gonna go within the next probably, I would say what? I give it 15 seconds and it's done. What do you think? Probably still float for another seven minutes. I think three minutes. Three minutes? You're probably right. It's been, see I don't wanna cut the video because I don't want people accusing me of like doctoring the footage. So I, this is one unedited shot of the ball floating the entire time and it is still going. There's a nice little, what is that? I don't know if that's a worm down there that I gotta vacuum up. Maybe I should do a video on pool maintenance. It took me like a week to figure out how to vacuum the pool. It's so easy. All you do is take a hose, you hook it to like a suction cup thing, you put the suction cup thing inside the skimmer over there, and uh, then it just sucks it, sucks up all the debris through the hose. Hey Libby, don't do that. I'm gonna make it sink faster. It, how many minutes has it been? It's been a lot of minutes. How many? This video clip is 9 minutes and 17 seconds right now. Come on, Celia, just sink. I have never heard of a ball floating for over 10 minutes. How come it can do that? Yeah. I have no idea. It's like a super ceiling ball. Maybe it's a magic one. Magic? I don't know. Yeah. It's just... What's that big black thing? That's a leaf. Sometimes the leaves blow in the pool. Usually they get, they float. And then they go over to the skimmer and I have to clean them out every day. It's a bad thing about having a pool open in the fall. Hey look, it's getting closer. Yeah, don't touch it. I'm going to like miss it when it goes It's going closer, out of view, going it's going out of view. <laughs> Watch this. Can you please sink already? I'm going to like, I'm going to trick this ball. Don't, what, don't, what are you doing? Watch. It's a don't trick. fall in. Oh, you, you really tricked it. Hey, it's going to sink pretty soon. There it, goes. there it goes. Right by the pool light. And it's going down to its final resting place. The ceiling baseball has died. The ceiling baseball won still, right? Yeah, oh yeah, it won by a lot. So, that test failed. I don't know if my hypothesis would have held any scientific weight anyway. I just wanted to see what ball floated longer and the Celig baseball won by about 10 minutes, which is crazy. So, now we have to get the balls out of the pool. Never mind, don't grab it. Why? There we go. There goes one. There's one. There's our winner. Hello, Mr. Winnie Ball. Now let's get the high oh, one. Kind of... I'll show you when the flower is. <laughs> and there goes our loser. Here's the loser. I bet he's crying in the pool. <laughs> you think the loser's crying? Yeah. I'm making up a joke, you know. 
Okay, the base was Back going... up a little bit. Don't hold the pen over the tool. Okay. Why? He almost did it. It's still water. under the pole. It looks like it is not. See? There's like a lot of resistance from the water here. There's that there pole. Is. And oh, here oh. comes our loser. Here's the loser. dry them out and should we give these balls away or should we keep them keep them and play with them oh yeah well, we already got like six thousand you don't want to give these away to someone that's watching the video okay let's get them away all right if you want to win these baseballs all you have to do is be a subscriber like the video and leave a comment and we'll choose somebody to be the winner after i don't know a week or two but we will contact you through YouTube. So thanks for watching, everybody. I just hit my head. Are you kidding me? I just drilled my head off of this clock. <laughs>